Testing one, two, three, guys. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Thank you for your patience, guys. Yo, what's up? Welcome to VicBot Brews Day Tuesday, third strike action all night long. We just had our biggest ever Sneetch's Crossfire. Two teams of 12. We have two teams of eight right now. We're running it back again. I'm going to explain the rules here real quick to the guys on the third strike channel. I'm going to at Brews Day Tuesday. Thank you so much for playing tonight, guys. Before we get started, I'm going to quickly run down the rules for anybody that hasn't played in one of these before. You can review the teams and the order that players will be choosing their opponents on the Bruise Day Updates channel. We're going to be starting at the top of each team and asking which player um, on the opposite team that challenger would like to face. But there's a catch. Each player can only be challenged by one player on the opposite team, which means that it's important that you choose your opponent wisely. On the one hand, it's important to choose an opponent that you're confident that you can beat. On the other hand, if you aim too low, you may be costing your team points down the line when the weaker players on your team have nobody left uh, within their skill range that they can challenge. When a challenging player wins their first of two set, they earn a point for their team. When the defending player wins, um, no point is given to either team. You can only earn points as a challenger. Defender just prevents points. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, I'm going to at you guys, um, both to ask who you want to challenge, as well as to ask you to run your first of two set. When I ask you to play, please challenge um, your opponent in the Fightcade third strike lobby as quickly as you can to uh, not hold up the stream. Thank you again, guys. Let's start off here with the Banana Tree Boa. That's gonna be the Banana Tree Boa versus um, versus uh, RKZ. First of two, please. Also, I need to know who uh, is going to be challenged by Deadlock. At Deadlock. Who would you like to challenge? Thank your patience, guys. Good to show on the road. These events have a lot more setup than most events we run on this channel. But they're kind of fun. As a reminder, I encourage you guys to co corroborate with your team on the Team Starbelly and Team Plainbelly channels there. Because again, it's so important to really decide who's going to challenge who. Talk to each other. Decide who you guys feel like you're comfortable beating. That way we can uh, make sure that each team can earn the maximum number of points, right? Sometimes players challenge, you know, let's say for pride, or they just challenge a random player, or whatever the case might be, right? And they end up costing their team points. It's so important to ask your teammates who they feel comfortable fighting, and then decide who you feel comfortable fighting, you know, who you're likely to win against, and then, you know, issue your challenges in a kind of a coordinated fashion. That's what Discord's all about, guys. Here, let me update the scores here. The scores from the last tournament. I'm gonna fix that for you guys here real quick. The score is now 0-0. Zero, zero, as you might expect for a brand new tournament. We have two teams of eight, guys. Boa is fighting right now. He's a challenger for Team Starbelly. Again, if Dr. Drunk wins this, he defends. If Boa wins it, he gets the first point. By some bizarre twist of fate, Boa also chose first last time for his team, even though it's randomized. Wow, he's let the fucking dive punch rip. That's crazy. Into the heat of battle. This is going to be first of two guys. If Drunk wins two whole games, we're going to see uh, the point get blocked. We stay on 0-0. Zero, zero. If Boa can win two games, it's going to be one point for the Star Bellies. I have no horse uh, in this race this time around. <laughs> I was honored to play on Team uh, Plain Belly last time. 
even though our team did end up losing 7-6 uh, to Team Star Valley. But that's because they cheated. That's because they cheated. They're a bunch of cheaters. They probably had parry macros and, you know, super macros, and they're playing with the top tiers and all that stuff. They're big cheats, Orange and Blue. They're big cheats. What can I do? I can't prove it, right? I can't prove it. I just know in my heart they're cheaters. Oh my! Chip this man. Oh my god. They had the game during the game during the same time, Orange? Holy shit. That's overboard. Even for Fight Gate. That's way overboard. There's a new feature in Fight Gate, guys, where apparently you can detect if you have like a auto fire for like your dungeon, right? And it'll tell the other player, hey, they're using a cheat. But Jonesy, Orange. Should we ask Fike devs to include a new detector for when players are using Game Genie and Game Shark at the same time? I think we should. Because that seems unfair to me. Whoa! Wow, what a parry. Good patience there from Boa. Oh, big naturals! Oh, the mini walk back! Oh, what a fireball. That's so smart. He spent some bar on it, though. Oh, too early on the grab attempt there. Oh, shit! That was a fucking combo! I wish we had fireball there. Oh, what a scoop! Mix him up. Trying to kill the time! Oh, no! Oh, my God, no! Dude, what a first fucking game, dude! Holy shit! Dude, why is this game like this? Why is this game like this? I got the picture. I mashed really hard once, it detected me possibly using tools. Yeah, I hate that, Jones. I've heard nothing but, uh, but false positives. Seems like that really, that feature is pretty good for us. Oh, what a parry there from Dr. Drunk, aka RKZ. Ooh, good patience there from Boa. Oh my god! Oh, I didn't kill though! Oh, wow. I'm trying to miss that parry. Maybe he thought it was a fireball at the last minute. Prepare to strike now. Okay. Ooh, okay, interesting option there. That fireball is doing work, but it cost him a lot of bar. Oh my god! We're 1-1, one, one, dude. Holy shit. You win. These are both the top seeds for their teams. Now. In this Why format, being top seed does not make you captain necessarily. And instead of having like a captain, we just have like a we randomize the order of, of choices. So basically, you know, the players who get randomized higher have priority. They can choose who they want to fight. But I strongly recommend you guys, you know, pay attention to your Discord channel. And each team has a Discord channel. And you discuss who you guys want to pick. Oh, that fireball is so godly. Oh my god! Dude, legalize! Holy shit! Are you ready? Go! Wow, that beat the hind D. That must be the fucking Nikita. Oh, nice. Oh no, we don't want that! Perry and just walk up and do nothing? Shampoo? Okay, build a little bit of bar. Wow! Oh no, too far for the shampoo! Oh no. Oh, double no. Oh no! Jesus Christ. Like I said, oh no, oh no, oh no, then Sonic comes in with the oh yes. Thank you for the second shadow is junk for that 300 bit. That's very generous. Dude, Boa wins the challenge, earning the first point for Team Star Bellies. Wow. Wow. But we do need a pick now from Deadlock. Who's still going to challenge? Try to tie it up for Team Plain Bellies. Again, it's a very tough choice. I'd be very cognizant who you're picking. We're going to do Deadlock versus Zarkern. First of two, please. Let's do it to it. Axel, holy shit, man. Jesus. Here we go. 
We're going to do uh, Zarkern versus Deadlock. <laughs> I like that here. Nah, mirrors are boring as fuck. I don't play mirrors, okay? Look your patience, guys. We need uh, Zarkern and Deadlock to fight each other. Deadlock TTV versus Zarkern. This is to tie it up. Can't find him, huh? Oh, no. Where's Zarkern? There he is. He's in the Z's, my guy. He's in the Z. They're here sorted by a letter. Likewise, our current by all means, go ahead and challenge Deadlock. That way we can, you know, make this a little bit easier. There you go. Here your patience, guys. Let's do it to it. I like that a lot. I'm going to update the uh, challenge players list now and ask the next players to uh, issue a challenge. Well, I got the so many challenges now from Tan Ren and Jonesy. Tan Ren and Jonesy, please issue a challenge uh, on our Discord server. So we have seen uh, Dr. Drunk got challenged by Boa. And now Zarkurn has been challenged by Deadlock. I need challenges from Tan Ren and Jonesy at them on Discord. At Tan Ren. At Jonesy. Who would you like to challenge? So we're gonna have Change Me versus Aura Aura Orange next. The next gonna be Chain Me versus Aura Aura Orange. They're gonna follow Damon, A A A. A, A, A. Oh, it's like Punish there from Deadlock. Ooh, my god. No Punish there on the whiff to Uppercut. Ooh. Deadlock ties it up here. We got uh, third round, so he gets the first game. They're playing ranked. They're about it, about it. Engage. A little bit too slow to punish that. At least he went for it like that. It seems really Deadlock up has a pretty good advantage here over Zarkurn. Deadlock's been punching above his weight uh, a wall for the past few bruises he's been a part of. Oh no, no block there. Was he still airborne? Oh my god. Ooh. Folks through both. Mash it out on some wolf eyes type shit, on some Arteus type shit, on some Chulak type shit. Down for the count. Uh, Deadlock wins this and then tie it up for Team Plane Bellies. So after this, guys, we're going to do a Change Me versus uh, Aura Aura Orange, aka Tan Ren Q versus Aura Aura Orange's Oro. Followed by Jonesy143, Urian versus 3 Venge Ken. It's going to be really, really hot. It's going to be so, so hot, dude. Oh, big old Jodan. Oh, nice strongs there from Zarkurn. On the good pressure here. Ooh, that was deep. No combo, though, unfortunately. Wow, they actually beat the duck under. It's so active. This is punished there on the fireball. I'm interesting how that played out. Punish that shit. Yes, Zarkurn. Yes. Let's go. Phil sweeps it. So really, that is kind of like Dudley's weakness, right? He's weak to the goddamn schwope and the fucking low forward. Mm, big old Joe Dan there. Is it Joe or is it Dan? Oh man, these fucking duffs. Good patience there from Zarkern. Oh, Ron House. Let's see if we see it, Damon. You missed a Shinto earlier, right? Who was the Shinto earlier tonight? Was that, uh, oh shit. Was that, uh, uh Reek? Or was that maybe Frymonger? <laughs> Oh no, it was Jimbo Slice. No, it was Jimbo Slice. It was Jimbo. Jimbo confirmed it off crouching short short SA2. 
Yeah. Let's just slice it. That fucking crouching short for SA2 is so sick. Just a combo there. Ooh, okay, a good block there from Dark Hearn. Oh! Deadlock, big life lead. Air to airs. Oh, no. Oh, nice confirm from Deadlock. What a punish. It was sick, don't do this. Oh. There you go. That's two. The point on our tie begins with our current deadlock. You win. You have no... That was sick. Up next, we're going to do a change me. That's change me. What the fuck? Versus aura, aura, orange. First of two, please. After that, it's going to be Jonesy versus three venge. In the meantime, see if I start, uh, you know, updating our list of challenged players as well as the score. Let's do the score first. I'm a bad habit of forgetting that. The score is now 1-1, one, one, guys. One for the star bellies, one for the plain bellies. Now let's see if I can fix the uh, the list of players. Town and Orange already in there. Nice. Here we go. Respect, Orange. Indeed, respect. Nice to meet you, by the way, Damon. There you go. So now Tomron has challenged uh, Aura Aura Orange. And Three Venge has also been challenged. We have Tomron on uh, offense here, Orange on defense. Tomron challenging four team uh, Starbelly. If Tomron wins this, Starbelly gets a point. Picking next, guys, is so sophisticated and Arteus. You guys are picking next. Choose your opponents wisely. Right now, the scores are tied. I have no clue what to think of this matchup. My first instinct is that, you know, Q is big and slow, and uh, Oro is kind of small and nimble, so we must have an advantage in this matchup. I know that Oro can get underneath uh, Q's dash punches just by crouching. Oro players say Oro destroys Q, huh? Yeah, I bet that's the end of the case. Nice taunts here. I like how Tyron uses the super to get those taunts. I wish she would focus on confirming her other super, though, rather than using this uh, funny super. It sure is silly and a half, and it's funny when it works. But I can't help but feel as though, you know, Tanrens could probably do a lot more with the other supers. Yeah, both uh, Banana Tree and uh, Wild Dragon. Well, Q is bad, so yeah. Oro's gonna fucking fuck him up. That was sick. That was actually sick. Okay. Danger. Didn't quite kill. Here we go. Oh no! Tanren! Just had to grab. Use that grab punish. Okay. Whoa, that was kind of fun. On some fucking Jean Claude Van Damme type shit. Yeah, see that? On some Kumate. Kumate. Good Hokagi. Good games, dog. That was so much fun. You played great tonight, dude. Well done, well done. Have a good rest, you've earned it. Oh my god. Talk about JCVD deadlock. Oh, that was sick! That was sick! What a fucking punish from Change Me! Oh my god! Kablooey 3 Venge! What a punish! I did so much goddamn damage just now. Yeah, keep stay hanging there, Hokage. Yeah, I know you've been kind of playing other games lately. But you look pretty good. Yeah, legalized. Change me is no slouch. Shout out to fucking young Max. They didn't let it iframes. Now I know. <laughs> oh my god. Tanren challenging for the star bellies. Tanren wins this, it's gonna be star bellies too. Oh, sick combo. 
Oh, use the fucking glitch? Oh my god, guaranteed damage? Let's go, orange. Oh, what the hell? In combo? There you go. That's so sick. Does it only work on Q? Is that Q specific? Oh no, I was not safe! Oh, I was what got like fucking jab there. Good games. Tanrin secures the point for Team Starbellies. Score is now two for the Starbellies. One for the Plain Bellies. Let's refresh our memory. What's next? Oh, it's going to be Jonesy versus Three Venge up next, right? Oh my god. Jonesy versus Wi Fi Kai. Three Venge, first to two, please. Now Jonesy has to beat Three Venge to tie it up. It's going to be a very close game. Good games, Tanrin. You look so sick. Isn't it nice to be able to see a good cue? Pause champ? That'd be so sick. Uh, such a sick emoji, Pop Slim. Just for fight, Kate. It'd be like an audio emoji. It'd be exclamation mark pause champ. It'd be a pop up pog champ. The old fashioned one. With the sound effect of fight, Kate, you know, glitching out. So, Jonesy for Street Venge. I mean, Jonesy has been really impressing me lately. So has Street Venge, of course. I think that. There's no reason why Three Ben shouldn't be able to win this pretty uh, cleanly. But, you know, Yurian, he's Yurian, man. He's a maniac. Something wrong with this dude. He's got emotional issues. So now we need uh, Sophist and Arteus to choose an opponent. At Sophist. At SHD Arteus. Please choose an opponent. And let me know who it is. Three looking strong here and start around one. Wow, sick launch there from Jonesy. Sophus wants to drift in the endless run back. Those are siblings, I believe. Sophus and Drifter are siblings. That's it. They've been training together, which is so sick. I love it when family comes together and uh, and get some sparring in. You can play the runaway game with Oro, but I ain't uh, playing like that. Come on, Orange. Come on, dude. Play lame, man. Be boring. Be boring. Run away like Lincoln Park, dude. That's what I would do. You can play Lincoln Park while you play, so you stay in the you know the, the zone mentally. I wanna run away and never say goodbye. Right. Oh, 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 no. I want to run away and open up my mind. Right? That's one for three venge, guys. Three venge is a defender here. If you can defend, that's a really big uh, first step for Team Starbelly. That gives him a chance to pull ahead, finally. It's a goodies, Sonic and Shadow Jungle. It's a goodies, dude. It's my goodies. It's my goodies. I'm saying, decoy. Gonna run away, gonna run away. <laughs> this man knows. If you were there, you were there. If you weren't, that's fine too. Nice punch from Revenge. Grab the truth of combos with the attack button to grab. That's unteckable. Mechanically. <laughs> Ooh. Close strong. Now, Three Venge is trying to push Jonesy into the corner here. He's got a small life lead. Jonesy coming back in a major way, though. Ooh, look at the way that Jonesy's moving here. What's up, Envy? Welcome board. Do we talk about Lincoln Park? Talk about how Oro should play a runaway game against Q. On some hybrid theory type shit. There you go. Three Venge now one round away from defending. Defending the point. Is that you, Envy? You fuck with Linkin Park? Are you like me, Envy, and only fuck with their first two albums? Because after fucking Minutes to Midnight, whatever the fuck that was called, I was like, you know what, I'm done, dude. This is not my Linkin Park. I fuck with Hybrid Theory, you know, I fuck with Meteora, and even Reanimated. After that, I was totally checked out. Heard that some good stuff, though. You think so, Exodus? <laughs> Meteora? That sounds like a fucking Gills album.
Uh oh! Let's go, Jonesy! Did I remember when Furbies would say that? Uh oh! Uh oh! Ah! Wilo! Toto! Wasn't it a cool day, day man? Told you everything loud and clear, nobody's listening, huh? Oh no, Sophus, no, please, don't remember that single. Ooh. Remember the reanimated music video for Point of Authority? That shit was off the chain. That, like, remember the fucking remix of Crawling? That was my jam. <laughs> like the sub Sonic Shadow Junction. He's like, oh, a third strike in Lincoln Park? Now we're talking. Scoops! Oh my god. Uh oh, it's not safe. Nice punch from Three Venge. Good awareness. Three Venge defends. He's opened the door now. You win. For Team Star Belly to pull ahead. Up next, guys, we're going to have uh, Sophist versus Liquid Drifter. First of two, please. SHD Arteus, I'm going to need you to choose an opponent. Did they give subs uh, Sonic and Shadow Junction? Seen them live a few times, they good shows. Happy to hear Deadlock. Let's get uh, the siblings here, Sophus versus the Drifter. After this, I'm going to update the, uh, the challenge list. That's really my fault. I should update that so we know who's been challenged. Let's get to this next match, though. Question, guys. What is the best song from Meteora and Hybrid Theory combined? I'll be curious to hear your picks. And don't say in the end. I remember when that song got a fucking single release. I was like, why this song? Breaking the Habit Equation is such a great song. Great video, too. Why did it in the end get a video? That's my question. It's not a great video either, if you ask me. There's some that has its fans, or has its fans. Okay, so we got you. So, uh, Three Venge has been challenged, and okay. Hmm, what's happening here? Is that true, Third Noob's true? That's nothing wrong with that, dude. Let's try it again. Take two. Thank you, Sophus. Resetting for the buttons. Deadlock also on Team Breaking the Habits? Got a lot of votes. Hit the floor, says Scary Beauty, huh? Not sure I can remember that one off the top of my head. Why you doing, Beauty? Want to know see, my friend? The Soma says here, pushing me away. Seen a lot of Meteora here. One Step Closer? That's a great song, Legal Eyes. I respect that, personally. I love that song. That's a great one, too, Zuckern. Lying from You. I fucking love that one. It's, I don't get no one's in the chat saying numb. You guys don't like numb? Okay. Who am I missing here? So Drifter has been challenged. Sense Revenge numb? Nobody likes numb? Who he likes Meteor more than Hybrid Theory? That's a tough call for me. I think I like Hybrid Theory a little bit more. But they're very close. They're very, very close. Yeah, League Lads, they're both great. A little bit overplayed, this one's Revenge. Hmm, huh? that could be part of that. Faint? Oh, so good, Zarkern. With the fucking string sample. Rotary says here that I'm about to break with a song that got me into the LP. Oh, it got me into Lincoln Park. I like Keys to the Kingdom on the hunting part. Now, see the Revenge? I don't, I don't hear none of these albums. Though. After the very first single for Minutes to Midnight, I was like, no. <laughs> so I always say this, guys. This always comes up on fucking Ruse Tuesday because of the demographic. But when Minutes to Midnight came out, Three Venge, I Three Venge, Lincoln Park did uh, interviews where they said that uh, they did new metal because they didn't know how to play instruments. They said that after the success of, you know, Hybrid Theory Meteora, they were able to come together as a band, learn some instruments, and really become the rock band they always wanted to be. All this new metal shit was just a convenience for them. They really didn't believe in the music. Now they're really being what they always wanted to be, which is an actual traditional rock band. 
I bet theory saved my life, says Dizale. Huh? I listened to it on repeat, being in the woods after school, afraid to go home because of abuse, and didn't kill myself because the album helped me sing real life. Have you heard that, Dizale? I hope they ended up being something positive in your life that actually made a meaningful difference. Art can be that way. Art can be, a, especially when you're a, a young person, art can really help you sort of, you know, pierce the veil and understand things that maybe you wouldn't have understood so well, you know, at that age. Otherwise. Oh, I'm sorry, Roger. I'm sorry to hear that you were a sad boy, yeah. I never did see Transformers either. But I forgot that I was like, I'm like tied in. Shadow of the Day. I cannot tell you why it hits me so hard, but it does. We should listen to that song, guys. Check it out on YouTube. Tell me if it's any good. Shadow of the Day. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Here we go. So, Sophus is challenging uh, on behalf of Team Starbelly. If they can beat the Drifter, they're going to increase their lead. So, we saw Jonesy fight Threevenge just now. And Threevenge won, right? And he was the defender. My December, great song, Three Bench. That was from their pre-Hybrid Theory uh, EP, right? That was later released on Reanimated. Oh, no. My friends used to trip out. I'm from the hood, and if you click on my profile and see my pick, you, would guess, uh, you wouldn't guess I was into it, says Dizale, huh? Well, the cool thing about, you know, those early Link Park albums had a very large demographical appeal, right? I'm sure it's, you know, no... Uh, no coincidence they were so popular in that era. Their genre was really, you know, had a lot of cross uh, demographical appeal. I mean, I had never really enjoyed, like, you know, like, heavier sound up to that point. And I heard it and I was like, wow, this is just a production. It blew my mind. Let's go, Sophist. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh shit! There you go. The Drifter takes it. That challenge is from Sophist, so that means that we have no points moving around here. We need our taste to give me an opponent here, so we're going to move on past our taste guy since he doesn't seem to be awake. Let's do, um, we need, uh, picks from Judith and Dr. Drunk. So let's, uh, at these people here. At Judith. At Dr. Drunk. I need to challenge, uh, it's RKZ. Who do you guys want? So Judith wants Decoy. Let's do uh, Judith versus Decoy Mandis. First of two, please. Judith challenging from Team Plain Belly. No, I'm sorry, from Team Star Belly. Down to Team Plain Belly. Our name was Boa. I respect that. We got Arteus here as well. We'll run Arteus next. Oh, but Arteus was Boa! Oh my god! That is fucking classic. That's fucking classic. Boa's so popular. So Arteus gets Boa. Because he is uh, a little bit higher on the list. He's got priority. So Arkazima's picking another opponent. He's the attraction, three He's the attraction. That should be his handle. That should be his ult on Fightcade. The attraction. It sounds like, isn't that a title from one of the stages in Nights into Dreams? Because Boa has been challenged now. Let's see here. And uh, uh, Judith challenged Decoy Mandis. They're fighting right now. Who bored Al Jeter? You can read all about it on Discord, my friend. I'm calling it Sneech's uh, Crossfire. It's a new format here. It's our third time doing it. It's been a lot of fun. Okay, let's see here. Make sure I got one, two, three. One, two, three, four. At RKZ. My apologies. But because Arteus is above me, I'm in the selection. I'm going to give him Boa. There you go. RKZ. Unfortunately not. You have to pick. 
someone else. Alright, that's cool. But take your time. Final round. Now. I pick roulette, huh? I wouldn't recommend that. Anyone, huh? Since RKZ is kinda new here, I'm gonna come to play. He might not know all these players, so I respect. I'll find a good opponent for him. He'll be the Venkabot roulette. Maybe his team to choose for him, huh? Yeah, think about doing roulette. I feel like, you know, RKZ is such a strong player. He should really take out a, a you know the strongest player on the team he possibly can. But now I'm hungry, says uh, Dizale, huh? Where's Bones with that damn ravioli? Yeah, having feelings is great, guys. Having feelings is great. I appreciate you sharing that with me, uh, uh, Dizale. It's very personal, a very personal story. And I feel like having heard it really is going to, uh, it's going to, uh, you know, uh, bring a new light into my life. It's one of those things that you hear, and although it might seem like a small thing to hear about a friend's memory from years and years ago, you find that it's one of those things that comes up in your mind once in a while and gives you a little bit of strength. Judith is the challenger here. Judith is challenging for what team? Judith is challenging on behalf of Team uh, Starbelly. If Judith beats Decoy, we're finally get a point for Starbelly. They've been trying to pull ahead here for a long time. Let me rephrase that. They're already ahead, right? I think. Let me refresh my, my memory. So they're trying to pull ahead by another point. Plain bellies are really going to need Dr. Drunk to do something. I am not only. I'm not going to be at Frosty this year, unfortunately. I'm too broke. Thank you for your support, guys. Your support on Patreon means everything I mean. Kofi support is super, super helpful. Twitch subs, they're amazing. Thank you for all the bits tonight. You guys have been so generous. I live a very humble life, guys. I live a very, very humble life. Thanks to y'all. I can really dedicate myself to streaming full time. At the same time, it's very hard for me to sometimes be able to get out to all the events I'd like to get out to. I'm going to be in Chicago, guys, for the Jazzy Auto Qualifier at Logan Arcade. Come meet me there. I'd love to see you guys there. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, you had to see it coming. I'll also be at the Jazzy Finale in Westminster, Colorado in June. That's going to be a huge Swiss event, guys. It uh, would be crazy to miss that. I'll certainly see you there. Did anybody here grab the 20th anniversary collection for Hybrid Theory? It came with like three CDs of replica tape demo and three vinyl. I had no idea where it was. Like oh, no, Judith. Decoy, please. Right, that's cool. This SPK Final stuff is so good. Go. Yeah, I'd have here, Dizale. Yeah, exactly, that's it. Yeah. Colorado in June, dude. It's the Jazzy finale. Use that Jazzy command in the chat. Learn all about it. This coming uh, January 21st, guys, very soon here, is the Jazzy Auto Qualifier for Game of Dreams Arcade in Houston. Shout out to my friend Katie Alpha for uh, coordinating that. Oh, I missed it too far. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, come to Dale, come to Jazzy Finale 6, and I have hella players there. Oh, sick! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh my god! What a scramble. We have a third game here. Decoy, please. It falls on Decoy now to stop Team Starbelly from running away with this. They're already one point ahead. Decoy playing defense. They can't get two points ahead. Let's fucking go. Prepare to strike now. Maybe you're right, that Damon. Maybe you're right. Oh! Oh, look at all these trades! Oh, sick. No combo there from Judith. Oh, the Hyab Justice. Oh, that was ridiculous. She has no bar left. Oh, sick. Aegis, here comes. Should be death. Oh, that was slimy. That was that same side? So many trades, Algy. I've been Algy. I hope you've been well, dude. Am I going to see you the Jazzy finale? I'd love to. With a pleasure to see the last Jazzy finale, season three. I know that was a little bit more local to you than this one might be. But guys, this is going to be a really sick finale this year. The Jazzy season four finale at uh, Akihabara Arcade in Denver area. It's Westminster, Colorado. It's going to be in June. It's going to be so sick. What's up, Turtle Power? It's gonna be a game of dreams. Nice, I'll do the nice. Well, make sure you win it then, dude. You can get that free uh, airfare out to the Jazzy finale. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. 
Decoy, please. Build some bar. Build some bar. Could have super that, man. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That was so sick. Why is this game so sick? I, I. Good game to Wazoo Rao, who pulls Team Starbelly ahead by two points. The score is now a four, excuse me, a, a, a two one, a, a, excuse me, three one, right? The score is now three one. Let me update the score for you guys on stream. Now they're ahead by two damn points. Okay, so RKZ wants Noobster. Let's go review the, the, the players here. So RKZ challenging for Team Plain Belly now. I'm trying to narrow the gap here. Challenging uh, Noobster. I respect it. I like it. Let's do it. Not that I would have uh, superseded or anything like that. Again, I know RKZ is kind of new to this community here. Let's do RKZ versus... Uh, oh, we have to do Arteus. It's going to be Arteus versus uh, Boa next. SHD Arteus versus uh, uh, Boa. That's Boa YGA. How can I not show up on this list? It's so annoying. The Banana Tree Boa. Thank you. First of two, please. Uh, RKZ, you'll be after this with, uh, let's say, against uh, Third Noobster. I think we're playing tonight, guys. It's really an honor to have some new players here. Bruise Day Tuesday has uh, been around now for, what, six years? Weekly? Barely miss a single week. I'm still meeting new players at all skill levels. It's an honor to meet players that are brand new to the game, as well as players that are veterans who, for whatever reason, I've just not had the opportunity to hang out with yet. It's been a pleasure to, you know, see these these uh, new faces come by and play tonight. It's not, Damon. In fact, next week's going to be a different format, guys. We've done uh, three weeks now of Sneech's uh, Crossfire. Basically, it's one of my pleasures as a streamer, Damon, to run all kinds of hell of, you know, all kinds of different formats. It's just something I enjoy, the variety aspect. It's hard for the community here. <laughs> I make it a nightmare for them. Because they're always doing different stuff. They have to always relearn how, how things work. But we do all kinds of crazy shit here. Oh, sick. Isn't it cool, Algae Eater? This is kind of a new format, Algae Eater. I call it Sneech's Crossfire. The idea is that I basically seed every player, and then I split them into two teams based on that seed. So hopefully the teams are roughly even. Again, of course, it's going to be, uh, you know, I'm not perfect. But I try my best to make them even. And then the players challenge each other for first to two sets across the way. But, Algae Eater, the, the catch is that every player can only issue one challenge and only be challenged once. So there's a tactical aspect of the players talking to each other on Discord. I actually have little separate channels for them to talk to each other and strategize who they pick. Because if you pick the wrong opponent, you could cost your team hella points. We're losing town, Ren. Okay, our taste. He wants his first game. In this format, guys, the challenger, the challenger can win a point by beating their opponent. Oh, sick bait. But the defending player cannot earn a point by winning. The defending player only neutralizes the point. So Arteus challenged here. If Arteus wins, we're going to see uh, a point for the uh, plain bellies, right? If I'm not mistaken. That's a plain belly point. Arteus wins. But if Boa wins, that means that the points stay the same. Because he's on defense. And the plain bellies need some points. They need some points. So Artaeus got to win this. But again, yeah, Tracy's really, you know, punch it up. He wants to smoke as always. Ooh. Now RKZ wanted to fight Boa. And Boa actually beat RKZ earlier in the very first set of the, uh, of the event. But Arteus, who actually is uh, above uh, RKZ in terms of picking players, decided to pick Boa instead. Oh, slimy on the dash through. Oh my god, that was gross. Are you ready? Three that does nasty. Would you call beautiful? I call nasty. Like fucking Janet Jackson. Dude. Like fucking uh, uh like uh, uh what was that woman's name uh nelly Furtado? did she have a song or, or like christina aguilera that it's all like that something like that they both have their bad girl remakes respectively 
Oh, why you dash at me so much? You better stop! Ooh, what the hell is Jabs? Uh oh. Oh, God. Not terrible trades there. Oh, wow, he didn't quite reach. Nice escape from Arteus there. Punish that shit! Not sure if Necro can punish that. How would he do it? Crouching short, probably, right? At best. Oh, ho, 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 the bug zapper. The classic bug zapper. Arteus gotta win this for the plane bellies. Uh oh. Nice uh, anti air from Boa there. Mr. Perry. Ooh, too early on the grab attempt there. Oh, it's gonna hurt. No combo. Ooh, too far. Caught him dashing. Okay, one rip carry there, I think. Why'd you wicked spin hook him? I would Boa block it. Oh, looking pretty confident right now. That's it. Oh, good stuff. Boa takes it. Well done. That's Boa on defense. Let's do RKZ versus Brutal. First of two, please. Now, RKZ, Dr. Drunk, also challenging four team plain belly. So RKZ can get this uh, dub here and bring the points a little closer together. Three versus two. But never sleep on third dupster. We saw uh, Arkazi play earlier, and he looked quite fearsome. Kind of like uh, Beyonce, right? Call him RKZ Fierce. It's like Sasha Fierce, but third strike player. Not that I know for sure that Beyonce doesn't play third strike. Maybe she does. Maybe she's, you know, C Cuppy there. Or Tempest 253. Here we go, Dr. Drunk versus Third Noobs. We're at Canadians, excuse me, two Canadians versus fighting each other. That's a rare sight. They'll be fighting over the poutine or something. Yeah, fighting over who should open the door for the other guy, right? That could be it. Please, after you. After you, after you, sir, please. No, no, I insist, after you. Next thing you know, they're tearing their shirts off. Tim Horton's battle soap, indeed. Let me update the challenge list here. Plain Belly is still behind by two. But Dr. Drunk can uh, can close that gap a little bit. But nice period there from third noobster. Update the list here. So third noobster has been challenged. Now we need uh, picks from Zarkern and Liquid Drifter. We need Zarkern and Drifter to pick their picks. At these two on Discord. At Zarkern. At Liquid Drifter. Please choose an opponent. I'm saying we run this is Leahy versus Ricky, huh? Uh oh, it's a punish. Nice punish from Dr. Drunk there. <coughs> Raw Aegis. Good patience there from uh, RKZ. Uh oh. Mix this man up! Oh, it's a fucking combo! Oh my god! He can combo from that high up? Uh oh. Uh oh, shit. Nice, nice. The patience here from Noobster. Oh, shit. Oh, what a headbutt. Oh, what a charge. Oh, my God. Sick parry from RKZ. Uh, uh. Oh, no. Can't do that. Not in this context. Oh, dash up, Sham Oh my god. Cross ups. Oh, that was gross! Oh, how the fuck? 
Somebody clip that! Jumping strong hit the Aegis, I think. Wow! That was sick! Third noob did the first game! Dude, Rotary, what the fuck does that? Jumping strong hit the Aegis, I think, and then the fucking Yurian standing strong just beat his ass! They ate it up, Algy. You're kind of like fucking Pac-Man would do. Uh oh, well, I could have grabbed him there. I think. Put his ass in the corner. Oh, we already built Bar. Ban this character. Uh, okay. Lifted him up. Oh my! The two rods around makes you fall slower to the ground too. Dude, fucking RKZ says nah. Okay. Now. Yeah, the first game, dude. Congrats. Oh, wow, really? Oh, sick. Dude, Noobster's charging is ridiculous. Oh, man, he wanted to fucking do some custom combo shit. That's not safe, but punish though, though. You gotta fucking grab him when he does that. Ooh, oh, he got scooped with the Shampoo startup? Oh, is Noobster gonna do it? Is Noobster gonna do it, dude? Go. Oh wow, my god, what a dash punch. Crown pull. Activation. Nice little dive on there. Crown pull. All the blocks from Noobster, holy shit. Oh, sick. Uh oh. Oh, he dropped it. Oh no, I got more than that. Fucking Roxy Music. Okay, look at this goddamn pressure. Interesting way that Noobster fell back behind his shield there. It won't only run, but it starts up faster. So what we saw there was we saw that third Noobster's grab beat the start of the Shampoo. Whoa, my God! We're one one. Getting drunk needs this point for his team. Fight a new rival. Welcome to the well of the street. I got the pair for battle. Beep 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 beep. Fighters ready. Engage. Uh oh, that's a not a punish there. You been kidding all year? Oh my God. Yeah, he whiffed two crutching shorts while he's still in midair from that headbutt. Ooh! Wow! Nice option period from Dr. Drunk there. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Jesus Christ, he built hella bar there with that fucking headbutt. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a combo. Whoa! I have never seen that one before. Yeah! This dude's making shit up as he goes along. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, what was that Ganesian combo? It's gonna hurt. Uh. Ooh. Wow, just fucking headbutt him. Good patience there from uh, Noobster. That's not safe, I'll push there from Dr. Trunk. He'll hit that low forward, uh, I believe, right? Ooh. Okay, it's alright. Ooh. Ow! Air to airs. Oh my god! Blocks, good blocks! That's not safe for punch me, you gotta look forward to fucking dash punch that, right? Oh, that come wall! Oh, he dropped it. Whoa, he, this boy just walked back! Oh, no! EXA just, oh, he missed the EX! Good shit! Wow, that was a sick set. Dr. Drunk pulls through for his team. Let's do Liquid Drifter.
versus Sophist, the run back. First of two, please. Good fucking game. Wow, that was close, Rotary. Holy shit. We're going to do Drifter versus Sophist, guys. I'm going to update the scores here as well. Let's update the scores. So the Dr. Drunk, aka RKZ, wins one for the uh, Plane Bellies. Fuck you for harming our team, but also let's go. Let's fucking go. So Plane Bellies, now they got to get one more point to tie it up. We have a challenge here from the Drifter to Sophus. I think there's another Plane Belly challenge, right? If I'm not mistaken. I'll have to look it up real quick. Yeah, I'm wrong about that. Here we go. There's a rumor going around these two are siblings. That's all that I know. Yeah, I'm with that. So Drifter. Is on team Plane Belly. If the Drifter wins this, he can tie up the points for team Plane Belly. No pressure. No pressure. So our Kern wants a random opponent. We'll see who's available. We'll also update the list here. Sophus has been challenged now. Our turn could have Deadlock, Jonesy, Arteus, or Papa Slim. Mmm, that's a tough call. Now, I recommend Jonesy or Papa Slim's our turn. That's what I recommend. Now, did we see Papa Slim fight Zarkern earlier? Mmm, I think we did, right? That was probably workable. at Zarkern. I think you should fight Papa Slim. Didn't you guys fight um, just before the stream? Or Jonesy, 143. Here. That's one for the Drifter. What's up, Sujano? This has been so much fun tonight, Sujano. We're doing a format here. We're calling it Sneeches. Crossfire. It's team versus team. Right now, Liquid Drifter is fighting to earn a point for Team Star, uh, for Team Plane Belly. If Sophus can win the next two sets, between the next two games, they can defend and maintain the Star Belly's lead. But earlier in this tournament, we actually had the other thing happen. We actually had Sophus to challenge Drifter on offense. And Drifter defended successfully. So it seems like Drifter is looking pretty strong in Sophus right now. Neckbreaker. That's a lot of chip damage. Ooh, okay. Nice little punch there from the Drifter. How's it been, Mr. Sejano? Hopefully all right. At the very least. Small punch, I like that shit. Touch the toe. Drifter now one round away from tying up. Star bellies versus plane bellies. Prepare to strike now. I feel like Sophus could really benefit from kind of slowing it down a little bit here. Drifter playing very aggressively. Ooh. Grip. Oh, no. The wolf eyes. Good blocking the overhead. Oh, wow. Nice reaction from the Drifter there. The scores are now tied. Scores are tied up. Let's go ahead and do uh, Zarkern. Versus Papa Slim. First of two, please. We're talking, we got uh, three, three stars and plain bellies. Sneech is crossfire. Good game, Sophist. We're gonna have the run back. I believe this is the uh, run back from the mat, the first of one we ran, right? Before the stream to see where to see these players. Let's see what we got here. We're going to do Papa Slim versus Zarkern. 
First of twosies. Who's choosing next? Let's go see. So I need challenges now from the third noobster and from Aura Aura Orange. Here we go. Let's go Papa Slim versus our current. Thank you for your patience, guys. They're getting things sorted out there. Make sure everybody's, you know, available, challenging. There you go. Got to update the list of challenge players now, if you guys don't mind. Make things a little bit cleaner for you guys. Make it a bit easier. Beep, 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 beep. Are you ready? Pop Slim has now been challenged. I need picks from Aura Aura Orange and Third Noobster. Thank you, Orange. Oh, the rematch? Oh, between Orange and Tonren? That's gonna be sick! That Third Noobster. Who would you like to challenge? After this, guys, the run back. Aura, Aura, Orange versus Tonren. It's going to be Oro versus Q. Go. But first, we have Papa Slim versus Arkurn. I think last time Papa Slim won the first one for the stream. Ooh. Okay. It's tough, Damon. It's tough. But I really like having players here of all different skill levels, guys. Third Strike is a game that's, you know, more than 20 years old. And so these young bloods keep the game alive. If you guys are watching right now and saying to yourselves, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm ready to play on, you know, Bruce Day Tuesday. Come play with us. Even if it's your first time playing the game, you don't even know what button does what yet. Come play, introduce yourself, find a mentor, get some advice, say GG's, shake hands. Great way to kind of, you know, start learning this game, just to meet some players that love it. Thank you to both Papa Slim and Zarkern, who neither one of these players are, you know, let's say, uh, Bruce Day regulars. It's a pleasure to have them. Nice period there from Papa Slim. I'll be crashing strong from Zarkern. It's a godlike button. So Kryn seems kind of, you know, I would say insecure, lots of running away. Pop Slim doing the opposite, just jumping in. Ooh, one of the DP there, right at the fireball instead. Ooh, nice use of the Jimmy Bean punch there. Oh, nice escape there from Zarkurn with the hyper jump. Oh, sick, even the health up just like that! Oh, didn't quite kill though with the wake up super. Pops up one round away from uh, blocking the point. Oh, there you go. Urda Urs. Zarkurn is challenging. Four team uh, Star Billy, I believe. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, so Zarkurn is challenging for team Star Belly. Pops up can defend. Oh, give the chance, uh, give a chance for the plane bellies to kind of overcome. We've seen so far that star bellies have been leading all night long. They were ahead the whole time in the first, oh, Sneech's crossfire tonight. They've been ahead so far tonight as well, but they're finally tied up. It's the plane bellies chance to rise again. But our current has to be Papa Slim here to get the point. Ooh. Ooh, wow, is it a little block that in time? What the hell? That was sick! That was trip guard? Oh! There you go, look of course, you're good shit. Pop Slim defends, games is our current. Scores stay the same. We're gonna do a third noobster. I'm sorry, we're gonna do Aura Aura Orange. That's Aura Aura Orange versus Tanren. First to two, please. After this, we're gonna do uh, third noobs versus Artes. But first, we need to do uh, Aura Aura Orange versus Tan Ren. I'm gonna update the uh, the list of challenge players here as well. So now we've had Tan Ren get challenged. We have also have Artes getting challenged. It's coming down to the wire. Holy shit! I didn't even realize that yet. We're getting close to the end of this whole situation, and we're tied up. Here we go. This could be very clutch in that case. Orange is challenging on behalf of Team uh, Plain Belly. 
Now, last time, Tan Ren uh, beat or or Orange early the same tournament. If Orange can run this back and win, the Plain Bellies can be ahead for the first time tonight. It falls on Tan Ren to stop that from happening. Good game, Pop Slim. Good game, Zarkern. We're doing well tonight, Doc. We're up mad late playing Third Strike. It's real 3S hours now. Again, guys, Orange is challenging on behalf of Team Plain Bellies. If Orange can beat Tan Ren, the Plain Bellies will be up by one point for the first time all night. But earlier, Tan Ren beat Orange for the point for Team Star Belly. Ooh, too slow there, is that right? Grip. Uh oh. Wow, sick punish from Tan Ren. Oh my god, that's so sick. And the taunt. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Orange is coming back in a major way. Oh, I can't see. Show them our power. The power of the plain bellies. Okay. Uh oh. Couldn't punch that in time. Nice punish. The butter cube, Papa Slim. Oh, the taunt. At full health. Tick grips. Oh, that's one for Tan. Good charging there. Is Tan Ren back in the groove? Did Tan Ren get her groove back? Like Whoopi Goldberg? I saw on Twitter today that Tan Ren was saying, Man, I've been in a slump in 3S lately. Where's that slump now? Tan Ren looking mad clean. That's cream cue, not the butter cue, huh? Why can't it be both? Maybe that butter cream. Feel the good stuff, Sonic Attack of the Junction. Let's go, Orange. Dude, I'm a fucking, you know, former Team Plain Belly. And I'm very invested in Team Plain Belly success here. Even though I'm actually not playing this event. But it's gotta be the Plain Bellies for me, man. I love that Plain Belly. For me, that star on the belly is just so ostentatious. Get it? Oh my god! No! Oh no! Oh no! Shut it down. Shut it down. Now. That's the end of the stream. Guys, we're going to have fun tonight. Bruce Day Tuesday. Third Strike every Tuesday here. Come back next Tuesday for more Third Strike. We're playing new format next week. Until then, have a good week. See you guys around. Tomorrow, we're doing Parasite Eve. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. Unbelievable. Tan Ren defends the point. Unbelievable. Well done, Tan Ren. Well done to Aura Aura Orange. That means up next we're doing a uh, third Noobster versus Arteus. It's gonna be brutal versus SHD Arteus. First to one, please. I'm sorry. I'm first to two. I'm sorry. First to two, please. So right now we've got. Uh, Noobster challenging for Team Starbelly. If Noobster beats Arteus, that means Starbelly's on top again. They've been on top all night, dude. Team Plainbelly's finally tied it up. Can Arteus defend? Arteus. He has to keep the tie. He has to maintain the tie here. Here we go. Now I need challenges from Three Venge and Decoy Mandis. Prepare to strike now. I'm gonna add Three Venge. Do you want Judith or Legalize Ranch? Do you want Judith or Legalize Ranch? And also, Decoy Mandis. I'm sorry, that's, that's backwards. That's, that's backwards. I'm sorry. Thank you, Weather. Oh, yeah. So, three Venge. Do you want uh, Deadlock or Jonesy? Do you want Deadlock 
Or Jones. Thank you. Uh, wow, I love that. But decoy mandates. Do you want Judith or Legalize Ranch? Are you ready? Go. Three Ranch got Deadlock? Oh my god. What's up, Nick? Welcome aboard, dude. We're playing this game. What's it called? It's one of those Street Fighters, I think. Dude, Algeter, what an amazing fucking reset. Dude, Orange. Rest in peace. Good games, Orange. You played great tonight. And Town Run's on some shit tonight. Artea's got the first round here. Again, it really falls on Artea's to defend the point here against third Noobster. Okay, Artea's walking back. Wants Noobster to come to him. Nice. Whoa, that's nice escape there. Grip. Take advantage of Noobster's propensity to block. Anti years. Ooh, good patience there from Noobster. Artea's really slowing it down. I respect that. Really slowing it down. Arteus needs one more win now to defend the point for Team Plain Bellies. That'd be a very, very clutch win right now. Because again, if uh, Noobster wins this, they pull ahead to Star Belly. Star's been ahead all night tonight. The planes have finally tied it up. Arteus has to maintain that tie. Get it! Ooh, uh-oh. Nice use of the standing medium kick there. Ooh, really? Is that gonna connect? Yo, it sucked him in, dude. Who said Dyson earlier? Because that was a Dyson. Wow, nice parries. Playing him proud anymore, that's what I'm saying, dude. Ooh, good patience from Arteus there. Oh, that's so much chip. Oh no, I'm gonna punish that! Oh my god. Artaste missed a very clutch punish there on the air to air. Can Nutra tie it up here? Ooh, putting that fierce up there to catch a limb. Artaste not being, uh, oh, not pressing any buttons here. Okay, okay damage. Mm, grip. Throw parry. Ooh, good patience. Wow! Punish! Oh, I hit the fucking electricity and beat it? Ooh, good block on the overhead there. Chase is trying to put it in there to mix him up a little bit. Ooh, look at the movement of Artaeus. You see that? Uh, hit that fucking hammer, the MC hammer on him? That was sick. Uh oh, no punish there because he jumps diagonally. Throw parries. Caught him back dashing. Pretty smart. Hit his fucking arm there. That's crazy. That was crazy. Ugh. Come dashing. No super, though. Oh, my God. The EX Flying Viper. Just can't put it out there. So, again, keep them thinking about it. Look oh, that mental stack. The mental snack. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Algae hit his fucking arm with a knee drop. Nice throw tech there. Ooh, actually beat the standing fear startup. Interesting trade. Trades all day. Our taste wants to spend to say once so we can get another one. Ooh, he's nice escape from Noobster, man. Wow. Whoa. Uh oh, party time. Oh no. Yo! What a pair of Martinez! Oh my god! What a parry! Oh shit! I can't believe it. Arteus defends the point for Team Plain Bellies. Good game's Noobster. Oh my god. Up next, we have Three Venge versus Deadlock. First of two, please. Now it falls on Deadlock to defend the point from Three Venge. <laughs> Thanks, Arteus. You know, I'm not on Team Plain Bellies anymore. I, but I'm still fucking in my heart. I'm still a Plain Belly dude. I can't deny it. Dude, so we got uh, 
Three Avenge challenging down to Deadlock. If Three Avenge wins this, the Starbellies go up by one again. This game is so sick when he ramen. If Three Avenge beats Deadlock here, the Starbellies go up. We have Deadlock on defense. Back to back defense of Plain Bellies. <laughs> good, good game, okay. Good game. But if Three Avenge does win this, Decoy now. can get the point back by fighting Judith and tie it up again. But if Deadlock defends it and then Decoy beats Wazirao, the Plain Bellies can go up for the first time in the night. So much fun, Algy. It's so much fun. On offense here, three venge for the Star Bellies. Deadlock on defense for the Plain Bellies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Be careful. Wow, a block from three venge. Oh, that was shady. Dude, Deadlock is sick. I have been sleeping on Deadlock. Don't forget he streams, guys. Go follow his stream. Twitch.tv slash Deadlock84. That's Twitch.tv slash Deadlock84. He's a great host. Very amusing. Oh my god. Jill, there's a white man in a karate gi fighting a boxer right outside the phone booth. I think he's using magical powers. He just spun around like a helicopter. No, I'm not lying, Jill. You have to believe me. Can you hear them? They're right outside the phone booth. Oh, the duff. <laughs> no, she can't, so she can't. She can't. Canonically, that's in the fucking wiki. Third check wiki. Phone booth will not save. Uh oh, Mr. Roundhouse. Oh my god, the third Venge! Three Venge now one game away from pulling the Star Bellies up again. Which will, you know, totally, you know, take away Decoy's chance at going up with the Plain Bellies. Again, if, if, if Three Venge wins this, he forces Decoy at best to tie it up by beating Wazirao. Worst song in the game, guys. Worst song in the game. Killing Moon. <laughs> I love this song, guys. I always say that because I have a friend of mine that says he hates this song because it's just, according to him, it's just drums. So, dude, it's the worst song in the game. It's just drums. <laughs> Ooh! It's just drums, LG. It's just drums. Oh my god! Oh, that was sick! I have never seen that in my life! Empty dive kicking the low forward Tatsumaki while he's pairing it with the red fireball? Oh, look at him trying to dash right there. It's a setup, you ain't kidding, dude. It's a setup. Make him guess how to parry, because how close it was. It's very ambiguous. Shouldn't parry his boss route, huh? Grip. Uh oh. Uh, MC Hammer. Too legit. Small punish there for three bench. Could I have more? Oh, shit. Whoa! Wow, sick! Revenge now on set round. Will the star bellies go up again? Or can Deadlock defend the plane bellies? Sick. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, that's not safe. Oh shit. 
deadlock, please. Oh my god, what a car grab. Oh, that was sick. Oh, kill him. Oh no! Not a sweep! What a bad habit! Oh no, what a. All he only do is not sweep. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wow. Three Venge takes it. The Star Bellies are up again. Now it falls on Decoy to tie it up. Let's do it, guys. Decoy versus Wazirau. A.K. Judith. First of two, please. Now, if Judith beats Decoy here, that's it, right? And that means that at that point, the Plain Bellies can't win. If Decoy wins it, it comes down to the final sets to see who will win or if it's a tie. But if Judith wins here, that's it. It's GG for the Plain Bellies. The best they can do is tie. Here we go. Good game, Deadlock. Here we go. Judith versus Decoy Mandates. Wazoo Rao. Engage. <laughs> Decoy building some birds. If you guys don't know Decoy, Decoy does not confirm love forward to super. And the skill he never picked up. But he's got a pretty good sense of chun. Yeah. I would say. Very, let's say, a functional understanding of chun. I think he's got a pretty good shot here against Judith. Grip. Ooh, wow, standing LK. That one's mad fast. Good blocks here from Judith. Can still come back on first round. Grip. Oh no, nice combo there from Judith. Wow, nice pickup. Oh, my look at Judith coming all the way back. Here we go. Aegis. Unblockable. Here we go. First round goes to Judith. Again, if Judith wins this set, first of two, it's GG for the plain bellies. The best they can do is, is tie. That'd be their ambition at that point. If Decoy wins it, we're going to be tied up again 4 4. We have only two sets left, one for each team. Good back, we got fucking Wazoo Isn't that great? Very rare uh, treat for us here. It was a pleasure to have, you know, uh, RKZ tonight. Nice to meet you, dude. Like we had Papa Slim on stream, which is great. We got Wazi Rao here. It's been cool that way. Judith. Oh my god. Mix up. Good patience. Oh no. I like it, but Decoy spends all of his bar. This first game means everything, guys. Now. This first game sets momentum. If Judith wins it, oh my god. It's gonna be very, very hard for the plane bellies to come back. Oh. Grip. Didn't have any bar there. Shit. Uh-oh, it's not hurt. Oh, got through the ages. There you go. Judith, the first game. Judith now one round away from defending the point. I mean, one game away from defending the point for the Star Bellies. Which would mean that the best that the Plain Bellies can hope for is to tie. If Decoy wins it, we can tie it up here again. And the Plain Bellies are still in the game. Here we go. Go. Standing Fierce can believe that beat this fucking standing medium kick. That's stupid as fuck. How fast is their standing fierce? Oh, we didn't have any bar yet. Lightly for decoy. Oh, no confirm there for decoy. Uh oh, throw parry. Here you go. Decoy has a whole bar left as well, not too shabby. 
Fighting. Not too shabby. Engage. Okay, standing fierce. Nice text there from Decoy. A little too far for that standing fierce. Wow! Judith uh, tackles underneath the Susan shoe there. Oh, the forward super. Oh, wow. See, I thought we were. I'm a big dummy. Pretty scratching short super would work. Whoa! A little bit loose there. Oh, the auto crack! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, big drop. I'm shunned. Oh, don't spit the bar there. Him to throw throw like that? Stupid. Oh my god. This could be it. Oh my god. Oh, too early! Yo, what just happened? That was in one frame too early. That seemed so late. Wow. Oh, get that bar, decoy. It's not looking good. Dude, why is Ralph playing so good right now? That's it. Oh, big drop. Ooh. There you go. Judith does it. Defending the point for the Star Bellies. At this point, the best the Plain Bellies can fight for is the tie. It's the tie. Good games to Judith and Decoy Mandis. That means up next, we've got... Uh, uh, Legalize, uh, let's do uh, Papa Slim. Papa Slim versus uh, Legalize Ranch. It's going to be Papa Slim versus Legalize. Then it's going to be uh, Legalize Ranch versus uh, Jonesy. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't do this right. Let's update the score here. Let me update the list here. Have your patience, guys. So let's see. Three Venge Challenge Deadlock. That's right. Three Venge Challenge Deadlock. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, that's why I was confused. And then Decoy challenged uh, uh, Judith, who defended. So our final games, guys. First, we're going to do Papa Slim versus Legalize Ranch. Then uh, Legalize Ranch uh, versus uh, Jonesy. Here we go. You know what I'm going to do? Let's do it the other way around. Let's do uh, Legalize Ranch versus Jonesy143 first. First to one, please. Sorry about that confusion, guys. I'm first to two. First of two, please. After this, we're going to do Papa Slim versus Legalize Ranch. So Legalize is going to do two back-to-back -back fights. They're already in there? Okay, that's fine. Some of the confusion, guys. That's my fault. I'm saying one thing and adding other people. Legalize. Please fight Papa Slim. Well, I got the picture. Since you're already in. Sorry about the confusion, guys. Here we go. Papa, this is a challenge from Papa Slim to Legalize Ranch. He must win this to tie. Well, let's check for online accuracy, huh? Still no V-Sync and one frame run ahead? It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry for the confusion, guys. The change in speed is only a change in speed. It has no effect on input latency. V-Sync is for input latency. If you have V-Sync turned on, you're going to have at least one frame or, or more of input latency. Over, you know, what you would have otherwise. Which means that you're going to have to, you know, input things a little bit later on real arcade hardware. It's going to always be true. It's very small, Damon. It's very small. I've been surprised to find out that I feel it more than I expected. Could be, you know, confirmation bias. It's a very small change in speed. Very, very minor. It brings the game one step closer to parity with real CPS3. But there are still many reasons why playing Terror Strike on Fightcade online is going to be very different from, from playing on a real CPS3. Final round. Now. 
Double set Banshee, yes. Alright, follow Banshee's advice here, guys. No V Sync. Triple buffer does not matter, right? If V Sync, I mean, triple buffer, excuse me. Triple buffer only matters if you have V Sync or not. If you're, you know, your video card has like a low latency mode, that usually means that it turns off, you know, a bunch of processing. You might probably use that. Front ahead zero. Delay zero. Having delay on at one or higher will give you input latency. Run ahead will theoretically bring you closer to CPS3 in terms of like timing, but it can cause visual uh, visual bugs that can make the game a little bit confusing to play compared to playing on real CPS3. I don't recommend it personally. Oh, there you go. Oh, big drop. First thing was to legalize ranchers on defense, guys. You win. If Legalize wins one more game, that means that Plain Bellies are guaranteed to lose. All we can do is narrow the gap. Prepare to strike now. Three says, close the doors, dog. Don't let him have it. Don't let him tie up. Okay, a little bit slow on the jump grab there. Interesting trade. Okay, throw throw up here. Got hit with the cross up. Got to block that. Oh, that's pretty sneaky. Looking pretty good for legalize. Right now, pops them on offense for Team Plain Bellies. Legalize on defense. If legalize wins this, it means that Plain Bellies can't get any more than three points. The main thing is for confirms, Runhead One is more likely to give life bar flashes in my experience. Yeah, I agree, Mantry. Yeah, for sure. Strike. That's the thing about Run Ahead 1, right? It'll, you know, it lowers your latency, but it causes input, uh, it causes graphical bugs. Which can, I think it's really not worth it for me personally, but again, to each their own, I suppose. As long as you know what, you know, I think a lot of people misunderstand, think it's all magic. They don't understand that there's a compromise in that respect. Run Ahead 1, it's great. You know, looking at, it will reduce your input latency by one frame, which is really important. On the other hand, people act like, you know, it doesn't cause graphical bugs, which it certainly will. And that can be important. That can be very distracting and cause you to play in a way you wouldn't expect. Even on a subconscious level. If they give sub Sonic and Shadow's Junction. It's not looking good! You gotta block that crossover! Let's go. Jeppa. Oh, EXTP. Got the bar. Put the bug on him. Went for the walk up grab there. A little too slow. Oh, good block! Let the jump for Papa Slim. Ooh. Good games. Legalized Ranch Papa Slim. It was a pleasure to have you tonight, Papa Slim. It was an honor. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do, uh, Legalized Ranch versus Jonesy143. First to two, please. Our final set of the night, guys. Final set. Here we go. This set is the Starbelly's chance to go up by two over the Plain Bellies. If Legalized beats Jonesy, the final score will be 5 3. All Jonesy can do now is play defense and make sure the gap stays only one. In the first uh, crossfire of the night, that was the gap, right? The final score was, what, 7-6, I think? So the Star Bellies won by one. Now we're going to just make sure that you know it stays that way, that they don't pull ahead by two. Jonesy on defense for Team Plain Bellies. Legalize Ranch trying to store, uh, score one more point for the Star Bellies. Yeah, insult to injury. What a night it's been, Orange. Well, wow, it was a really long event. It was so much fun, though. It was so much fun. Are you ready? Go. Thank you again, uh, Sonic of Shadows Junction, for that uh, gift sub there. Let's see if Jonesy can uh, fight off Legalized Ranch. I'd say he's got a pretty good shot at it, but maybe not. Again, Legalized Ranch, I think, has a little bit more uh, uh, a little bit more fluency in the game. But Jonesy is uh, looking really good lately, and his Yurgen is mad scary. Very, uh... Oh, wow! Too slow! Good awareness from Jonesy there. That super is not real. It's just an illusion. Shout out to my friend Neon Riot. Ooh, Jonesy coming back. And, oh no, what was that? Ooh. Oh no, is that a combo? Two hits? Or is that chip? It's two hit combo. Oh shit. Prepare to strike now. Let's go, Jonesy. Let's keep it 4 3. I don't see none of this 5 3 nonsense. Ooh, too far for a good punish there, so we got the best thing we can get at that range. Good, good awareness there from legalized range. Yeah. 
What a night, man. Here comes all comes down to this. Ooh, got a parry there. Interesting. Oh, shit, the punish. Jonesy still in there. Ooh, couldn't quite kill there, though. Oh, no, he didn't want that. Wow. Interesting option there. Super jump fierce on the way up. Land crouching forward. Uh-oh. Is it crazy, LG? You guys left the fucking shit bucked up the screen. Nice Pope from League Lives. Oh, here we go. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. Oh, sick bait. Sick. Oh, no, no, Aegis. Uh oh. Missed the Aegis input. That might cost him. Oh, no, he spent it right there, too. Ooh. Oh, no. Legalize. Lost his first game. Oh, sick. That's it. Wow, he came all the way back because of the dropped ages. You win. Legalized Ranch now up by one round. One game away now from getting one more point for the Star Bellies. He wants that five. Got some dissension in the chat. Can't agree if this matchup sucks or if it rocks. Grip. Swoops. Oh, sick. Here we go. Party time. Grip. Let's save his bar now. Uh oh. I might regret that. Jonesy have a lot of difficulty sealing the deal. That's one round for our boy Jonesy. Fighters ready. Engage. Okay, nice. Nicely done. Ooh. Lots of pokes here from Jonesy. Lots of medium kicks. Highs and lows. Just let it rip. That's not safe, but it works, so there you go. How do you know it's gonna work? Who can say? Wow, that fucking round has so much damage. Interesting trade there. He fucking shot Jonesy straight up in the air. This is Perry there. Grip. Jonesy has bar. All he needs is one Aegis now to seal the deal. Oh, now he doesn't have bar anymore. Oh, uh oh. There you go. Legalized one round away now. <clears throat> I wish Aura would tang go away, says Wazirao. Ooh, caught him trying to move there. And this Mino Kick's doing work here for Jonesy. Oh no, Mrs. Aegis. Wow, the movement here from Legalize. Let's punish there from Legalize range. Life lead for Jonesy, but not by much. Okay. Nice block. Here we go, party time. Oh, big drop. Once again, didn't slip the Aegis up. Have some difficulty with that. Nice to use the LK there to beat the uh, grab. Here we go. We'll leave us. Oh, Neon Riot! You win. That shit's not real. Now, fight a new rival. Welcome to the world. Here we go, guys. Last round. Last game, I should say. Go for it. Legalize on offense. Try to add insult to injury with that final point, the fifth point. Jonesy, trying to make sure they don't go two points behind. It's a hell of a fucking job as well. Legalize is no slouch. He's doing great so far in the first round. Almost got stunned. 
Dude, what a night. We've never been here so late, dude. It's mad late. Hope we had a good stream. Hope you guys all enjoyed Bruise Day Tuesday as we come into the final uh, battle here. Oh. Get okay, the punish, I believe. Standing three for the god button. Oh, sick. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, that was sick! Oh, very timely, unblockable there. I'm saying, LG. Ah, my head! Ah! I got my head! Ah! Are you ready? Ah, ah, ah! Oh, these trades! Oh my god. Grip! Look at my head! Ah! Look at my head! Uh oh, got scooped up. Oh, that was fucking sick. Uh oh! Oh shit! Got the scoop! Nice quick rise there from Legal Eyes. I'm gonna move there. Nice use of the crouching forward. This could be it. There you go. Jonesy does it for the honor of the plain bellies. Good games, Legalize Ranch. You played great. That was so sick to watch. Jonesy, well done. Legalize is definitely a pretty scary foe. A really amazing way to beat him right there. And it's such a clutch moment. The final score is four for the star bellies, three for the plain bellies. They won both of these events tonight. By one point. You sons of bitches. You fucking star belly motherfuckers, dude. With your fucking ostentatious ass stars in your bellies. I'm sick of seeing that shit around, dude. Put a fucking shirt on. Alright, jeez. Good games, I guess, to the star bellies. Well done, my friends. Guys, this has been Bruise Day Tuesday, Third Strike Games Noobster. Good games, guys. Stars! That was so much fun. I'm actually gonna add some guys here on Discord. At Bruise Day. Thank you so much again, guys for making this bizarre format so much fun. The final score. Oh no, three Venge. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my. Your game's lead. Can you guys believe the gloating from the star bellies here? Come on, dog. The game's brody. The games are coming out tonight, dude. The final score is four uh, star bellies. I'm gonna add star bellies here. At team star belly. Four. At team plain belly. Three. Meaning that team star belly is undefeated tonight. Well played, well played. You guys all look great. I appreciate you all coming out and showing us your stuff on Bruise Day. What a night it's been, guys. Hope you guys all had fun here. That was Bruise Day Tuesday. Come back next Tuesday for more Third Strike. Tomorrow is Parasite Eve, guys. We're playing some more uh, 1998 action on Parasite Eve. Come by on Friday for Elite. We're playing a game from 1984. It's our old-ass space game. It's so sick. You guys are going to love it. Next week, I have something kind of new from it for you, I think. Dude, Sneetch's... Crossfire, really fun format. It's got a lot of uh, moving parts, got a lot of uh, organization to do. It kind of long to get started, but I think it's easily worth it. I hope you guys had fun as well. That was really, really fun. Thank you to uh, Sonic and Shadowless Junction for all the gift subs tonight. Thank you to Damon for the follow. Thank you to uh, uh, FIFA King for that resub tonight. Thank you to Izana Edwards for the gift subs tonight. Thank you to my friend Drew for that resub. That's my friend New Health Studios. Thank you to uh, uh, Hebu for the bits. Thank you to Blue Abs for the bits, as well as for helping me out on Discord. He actually wrote a cool Python script for me. It's really uh, nice of him to do that. Thank you to Rotary Lover for that resub. Big game's Rotary. Thank you for that uh, bits mutant XP. Thank you to Herb for that raid. Thank you to the follow Coffee Owl for playing tonight, dude. Nice to meet you, Coffee Owl. Well done. So much fun, man. Glad you played tonight, Bo. Right, so much fun. I can hop out. Good night, Drifter. Good games, man. It was a fucking pleasure. Good night, Orange. Yeah, Leaf's gonna be really sick. Goddamn shinobi shit. Glad you guys enjoyed the format. I really enjoyed it as well. You ever notice that when you like try and kill a mosquito? It's very tense. Like, Good night, third nooster. Good night, homies. Elite is coming, Revenge. Elite is coming. 
Thanks to our subs on Kofi, guys. That's Kofi.com slash Venkabot. I'm trying to raise money through there as well. This channel is uh, always, let's say, uh, it's always uh, in a situation where it's not recipe financially. And you guys that support on Patreon through Kofi, through Twitch subs, all much appreciated in terms of making Bruise Tuesday possible every week. We've been doing it now for, what, six years almost. I think, you know, maybe even six years by now. And it's been an absolute pleasure to have done this for so long. It's something I really enjoy. It's something a great honor for me to get to meet you guys and see you guys play. Uh, thank you so much for our supporters on Kofi. It's ko-fi, ko-fi.com slash Venkabot. That includes Sophus Dreams. Thank you, Sophus. Thank you, Ace, as well. Thank you to Jiffy Extra Creamy for your support. Thank you to uh, Gert Locker and my friend Jensen Plays for being supporters no! on Kofi. This means so much to me. No! Thank you to the patrons as well on Patreon.com slash Venkabot. enough! You fuck! Ah, that it. is uh, yeah. so, so clutch. Thank you to Antonio yeah. Sanchez, Balls Deep, Decoy Mandis, Foul Mill, James Bucciletti, Jimbo Slice, John Hernandez, wow. Mutant XP, and Cruz, Only Ramen Prime, Opus, Rage wow. Against Arcade Machine, Here's like Salty Face, and Zanzu. Like Thank you, Ace, Amir, Audrey Apples, Karina, Big Sucker, Envy, Butterfly, Gene Haley, Man Watts, Max, Michael Inkle, Rob Slikes, Steve Jones, and Wade Local. Thank you to the Shady Winners guys on Patreon. Those two tiers are $3 a month. And it's actually more of a help on Patreon and Kofi for three bucks than Twitch's $5 sub is, because Twitch takes half guys. I put in five bucks on Twitch. And you know, Jeff Bezos makes 250 that for himself. And the channel makes 250. Takes exactly 50% of every sub. That's pretty crazy. Support on Patreon and Kofi. Your dollar goes a lot further. Put in three bucks. Save yourself two dollars. It's a huge help. Thank you, Anne. Brandon Williams, Drew Newworth, 4TL, Good Vibe City, Goss, Invalid, Letter Department, Juna Nam, Keith Best, Cooley, Hand, Kyle Glass, Mum Blues, Roasty Toasty, Saucy Daddy, Sean, and Toxic Vamp. Thank you to the young guys. It's one dollar a month on Patreon. And it's a huge help. That, uh, that dollar buys me a taco each month, which is great. Love that taco. But more important than that, it's a show of moral support that means the world to me. It kind of empowers me as a creator. It means you guys believe in the channel because I want to see it grow. You guys want to be a part of it. You guys want to invest in it. That dollar is a huge, huge help. Thank you to Benjamin J. Harkins, Donka, Drew Katsikis, FK Brian X, Guy Taylor, Herbert and Andre Cruz, Julian Bergman, Kaiju, Mark Parker, Momo, Phil Harrison, Randomators, Shane Johnson, Wars, and William Lake, you guys. Good games, Arte. Good games, dude. What a pleasure. You play a great night as always. Thanks for putting in the work for a team playing belly. <laughs> Thank you all you guys for playing tonight. Whether you're on Team Plain Belly or Team Star Belly, I know we've had our differences, guys. But, you know what, in the end, it was just great matches, good games. I'll forgive you guys for having stars in your bellies in time. Maybe not tonight, but, you know, I'll, I'll cool down a little bit. And I'll forgive you guys. Thanks to our Twitch subs as well, like Zanzu, of course. We'll see Amazon Prime free subs, and them gift subs, and them $5 subs on Twitch. Thank you, Alex P. Admin, Algae Eater, Amir XL, Arteus, RKBFW, A Stuffy Muffin, Audrey Apples, Ball Thief, Waldo Salicard, Blue Abs, Brother Nero FTC, Bradrinka, Caveas, Change, Me, What the Fuck, Two Lock, Tamper Dons, Deadlock 84, Decoy Mandis, Dick Sucker, DJ Moonlight Strike, NVKO, Exodus Third, Izana Edwards, Feet the King 97, Fighting Bubbies, Fight J Fight, FPA Brian X for Bay, Ginseng Plays, Hazy Woods, Herb Durkin, and Silo, Jabby 33, GP Beefy, J Motive MU, KG the Legend, Legalized Ranch, 801, Looks Dress, Long Legs, Lord Solder, Mothman, FTC, Mr. Sujano, Mr. Part 2, Mr. Papey, Mutant Experience, Nirhan, Neon Riot 4, New Host Studios, New Pool 16, only Ramen, Oomph, um, Aura Aura Orange, Preacher 51, uh, Rabib, Red Panther Spare, Rescue Ryan, Roadkill 3S, Roadkill 39, Seeking 2000, Slender's Revenge, Slender's Whole Horse, Sonic and Shadows Junction, me, Sonic and Shadows Junction, Sophus Dream Stream, so uh, Stoner Time to Launch, uh, SWP Philly, X315, uh, Synapse, Taken in the Blood, Task Force Faust, Tattoo AK4, The Banana Tree Boa, Three Venge, Todd Bambi, Triple J, Wax SBK, X Jimbo Slice, X Zither XZ, and Yoga Brain 3S. Run! But they had fun, Arte. It's good games, dude. Games all my friends like to come out and play. That was so sick. That was definitely the most fun I've had playing this uh, new format here, Crossfire. And it's been getting better every week. I think next week we're going to try something a little bit different. We'll come back to Crossfire at some point, though. But I'm going to uh, play some Parasite Eve tomorrow. Come back next Tuesday with more Thursday. See you guys then. Let's raid somebody in the meantime, shall we, guys?